Welcome back, welcome back to our channel. Yikes, I, we apologize for that. It's first day of summer, drinking a summer ale. Cheers, smooth sail oh. summer ale by yeah. Heavy Seas. I'm drinking the Tropicana. Tropicana by Heavy Seas. Not bad, I like that one. Wow, very citrus. Tangerine. Also very IPA. -y. Yeah, it is an IPA. Mm -hmm. Okay, today we're okay. gonna show you our trash. We are obviously in a different filming location because we're lazy. We were too lazy to move stuff. Yep. Even though we moved a bunch of stuff to make this happen. It's fine. We didn't have to pick up the table. That's really all we wanted. Yeah. So we're gonna share with you our empties, products that we've used up or just didn't like couldn't be bothered to finish because they sucked so bad. I think all of mine were finished. I think all and of all of mine are actually products that I really. Before I say that, I want to. All of mine were products that I really love. I think mine are too. Oh, that's a lie. There's something in here that I fucking hated. <laughs> we gonna talk about it? Yeah. Okay. It was sent to me by influencer. They want my honest thoughts and reviews. Uh, here it is <laughs> for, for them. Okay. So as always, top down. Down. We both have the same first thing. Yes. So let's pick that out of the way. It is the Amika Triple RX Hair Mask. I have the old packaging. Get yeah, away. Get away. Away from my beer. Oh, it's just faded? Yeah. Oh, got it. No, that's different. Oh, mine's a nourishing mask. Oh. <gasps> and yours is a... I think yours is the new one. Oh, okay, sure. I think yours is the new one and that's why it's... Oh, mine still has shit in it. You why said this, this the last time. In the last empty vi empties video, you were like, this isn't empty. <laughs> I'm gonna use this. I don't know, maybe I had it as a, no, I've already put it in a favorites. But may I'm wondering if it got mixed up though. Maybe. Anyway, it's borderline <laughs> empty. I wanna take it home and finish it, but trust and believe I will finish it like this weekend. Yeah, and we freaking love these masks. Love it, love it, love it. Highly recommend, would repurchase over and over and over again. We've been really lucky Absolutely. that we found it at Marshall's. So yeah. we've gotten it at a significant discount because it is slightly, expensive but this is um 16.9 fluid ounces which is huge for a hair mask it I lasts me it. a really long time yeah oh months and months and months mm -hmm. although i will say because i wash my hair so infrequently i've actually pretty much stopped using conditioner mm -hmm. and i almost exclusively use hair masks same which is funny because i used to go through conditioners twice as fast as i go through shampoos and which now i'm the other i'm the other way around oh a quarter <laughs> okay so thank you amika well, you didn't send it to us, but thank you for making a great product. Okay, I have another hair item. I put this in a recent favorites, actually, and this is the Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray Advanced Dry Thermal Protectant. This is a, it's not a sample size bottle, but it's a smaller version. I have since purchased the bigger bottle. I've been using this for probably seven or eight years. I love it so much. The smell is fantastic. You spray it on damp hair before you dry it or put any heat to it and it acts as a thermal protectant but it also acts as a way to make your hair dry faster. Um, and I have short hair but I have a lot of it and it takes a really long time. Absolutely uh, just a long time favorite. I highly recommend. We've said it in a previous video. If we don't have one of these in there, something's happened to us and we've died. <laughs> Clinique, take the day off. Empty, gone, already on a new tub of it. Same. I love it. I tried to veer away from it and I was like, no, 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 bad baby. I told myself I was going to veer away from it and then Sephora had their sale and I was like, well, it's 20, actually it's 20% off at Ulta right now. I really should just buy another one. Oh, so should I. Fuck. <laughs> anyway, you've already heard about it. You already know. Mm -hmm. If you don't already know, watch all the old videos. Mm -hmm. We'll talk about it at length. Ooh, I have another hair item. This was like the month of hair. This I haven't shown anywhere and it is very much a favorite and I had forgotten how much I loved it. It's chlorine. They have a two pack at Costco online. They have it at Costco for $4.99 for one bottle. What? Yeah. What? Or $6.99. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Uh, it's chlorine dry shampoo with oat milk. It is fantastic. <laughs> with oat milk. I didn't realize it had oat milk in it. I just thought it had oats in it. I don't know, it was oat milk. Uh, it is, I think it's my new favorite again. Really? It's really good. It never leaves my hair feeling like I put something in it. It just looks fresher. You know what's funny is I saw it online at Costco and I thought, I think she said she really likes this, I but I can't remember. It. 
and I almost bought it and then I didn't. So I've been finding it at Costco for under $10, which is mind blowing because Ulta sells it for I think 20 or 25. Do they? Yeah, it's a, it's a high end, it's chlorine laboratories. Laboratories? Yes, they sell this at Sephora, they sell it at Ulta, they sell it at Costco. It's a fantastic uh, dry shampoo. It does have a little bit of a white cast. I think all dry shampoos do, but if you just work it into the sc scalp and the hair, that should go away. Um, and the smell, oh, that that's not good right now. Are you sure that wasn't my burp? No, but the smell, it smells <laughs> like aerosol. Oh, got it. Um, it smells really great. In fact, it's one of the only dry shampoos that I can use that Mike says doesn't make him want to die. Do you mean because when he's inhaling it or when he smells it on your when hair? he smells it on me. Like, he's like, I don't know what has go been going on lately, but like your dry shampoo's really affecting me. Oh, okay. Batiste. Get the fuck out. It's Batiste that does it. Because sometimes I put it in before bed. Sneezing a lot. He actually does sneeze a lot. So I think there is something in it that just does it. He's a little allergic to it. He is. But that one, it never causes a reaction. That's really funny. <sighs> so my next item. Items. <laughs> it is the NYX Precision Pencil. Brow Pencil in the shade Blonde. Wow. And I love it so much that I've purchased it six times. Yeah? I have literally two coming from Ulta right now, but I will say I haven't been using it in my brows. It's not in my brows today because it's $10 a pencil. Full, I guess that's full price. I usually get them for, a, I buy them when they're on sale. But it's $10 for a pencil and I go through multiple pencils in a month. Which is shocking. And then my little Anastasia uh, brow stuff is more expensive but it takes me like six months to go through one right so it's cheaper in the long run so it's cheaper in the long run like at the front end it seems more expensive but it's not because I, so i have these three wow. i'm sure i have other ones that i've thrown away i have one in my drawer right now and two coming from ulta and they just don't last for me which is shocking because i have one as well and it lasted me at least three or four months nope and i think i just think most of that is that i'm penciling in so much more eyebrow but i feel like you do have eyebrows uh-uh. Nowhere near this. Right. Like, if I were to just use... Because I've tried using just Glossier's Boy Brow. Yeah. No. It's like a no makeup There's makeup just day. no... There's just no... There's, I just don't have enough eyebrow for yeah. it to bond to, to give me the appearance of more eyebrows. I need to get them microbladed. It probably. is a great formula. It is a great pencil. Yeah, I really... It is a great pencil. I really like the shape of the actual pencil. I like the little, I really like the spoolie on the other end. I think this is one of the best spoolies. Agreed. Um, I just, yeah, but they buy, buy pencil. Mm. So I'll still purchase them because I still, yeah. they're, it's faster for me to do. So on days where I'm not wearing a ton of makeup, but I want eyebrows, I just flip, 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 flip. Um, flip, 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 flip. but I will not be using it on the regular because it ends up being more expensive. Bummer. Sad. So I also had that eyebrow pencil uh, in there, but I also finished up my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is a really great brow pencil, uh, but it is very pricey. I think it's $23. And honestly, the CoverGirl one is exactly the same, mm. and it's $8. And that's my favorite. Uh, I just finally finished this one up, and bye-bye. Oh god, look how dirty that spoolie is. I don't like looking at the spoolies. I don't wanna know. Great, but don't. I wouldn't spend my money on it when I know that there's a cheaper alternative that performs the same. So, this was suggested to me by a follower. It is the Kiehl's Ultimate Strength Hand Salve. Doesn't matter, you'll understand. Um, so I was going through like a very scary, very dry skin period. I I'm perpetually dry, but- Did there you think you had eczema? <laughs> eczema? No, I just knew that I was freaking dry, even though I have had issues with eczema. <laughs> Esther says that. Does she? Yes, it annoys me. It's eczema. <laughs> anyway, I've had issues with it in the past. I've had a lot of different like dry skin conditions, um, but this was just your regular run of the mill. I wasn't moisturizing enough, um, and I think it was mostly winter time, but this was really helpful. I will say um, it's not fragranced, and I don't love its natural scent. Yeah but it works really well, I've heard that. It smells like, a little bit like diaper rash cream. It smells like Noxzema. Yeah, I just don't love it, but it does work really it. well. I will, I don't think it, but it doesn't absorb. It smells like a salve. Like when I, true. So <laughs> when I put it on, I pretty much have to put it on and then immediately go to bed because I can't like play around on my phone. I can't do it, I'm not gonna touch my hair. Yeah, none of that. <laughs> it's, like, it's like when you're on a plane and they're telling you what not to do. 
Uh, yeah, so it's literally like slathered on your hands. I was using it on my feet, on my arms. Um, oh. And uh, yeah, then I just have to go to bed. And Would you repurchase it? it? No. Wow. Bummer. I think I'm just like, I acquire a lot of hand creams. Maybe. I feel like my mom gives me hand creams. I'm, I'm, I I'm just like working my way through. Admittedly, don't really use hand cream. I should. I think that's the thing is I really I also do. Oh, <laughs> I do use I do use a foot cream. Yeah. <laughs> and then I feel like I just I do my feet and then what's left on my hands is my hand cream. Okay, I've got four mascaras. <laughs> I love me some mascara. <laughs> It's my favorite. This was bullshit oh. mascara that Caitlin and I purchased. Was it purple? When we did our oh. full face of crazy skin products I and makeup. Do again. I do too. Um, but this just wasn't. Next time we travel together, we just have to do it. Wasn't very pigmented. It didn't really show up on either of us. Mm -mm. We like put on multiple layers. I'm just telling and you our, the and, way. and in our eyebrows. And that is like nine months old. It should be away. This is the Clinique High Impact Mascara Dual Ended with the Lash Building Primer. I really loved this. It's, it's a very small size, but it has great brushes. I really like a natural bristled brush. This is one of my favorite mascaras. In fact, I have it as a full size here. Oh, love it. Lash Power. Lash Power Mascara. Oh, this is the long wearing formula. I don't, I don't love the Lash Power. I do. I've yet to find a mascara I love. So these are different. I lied. This wand is very thin, but it works really well for my lashes. It's a bitch to get off. It will not smudge. I can promise you that. I love it for my lower lash line because the brush is so tiny, but I just didn't feel like it gave me enough impact. Oh. Well, if you're looking for a mascara, I have one I think you might like. Tell me it's not the Bobbi Brown one. It's not. Oh, good. I have oh, been getting God. a lot of questions about my lashes, which thank you so lashes. much. Lashes. I, I do naturally have a lot of lashes and it like mascara always works really well on me i'm very fortunate but the one i've really been loving is the covergirl exhibitionist 7.99 or 8.99 is oh, that's like borderline looking high on packaging i know they definitely didn't upgrade on that and it's an hourglass shaped one that reminds me a little bit of the shape of the better than sex I'm and that, yeah. and the l'oreal lash paradise but the formula for this separates my lashes effortlessly hmm. Um, it makes them look really long and separated. I don't curl my lashes, but I do feel like it kind of makes my eyes look a little bit more open, like I had curled them. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's really fantastic, and I've been recommending it to a few people. I'm gonna put it in a favorites video, because I really just think I found my new one. Yeah? Yeah. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I'm a mascara cool, cool, cool. slut. The next thing I have, I have talked about it, I believe in a favorites video, is the Fake Bake Flawless Self Tan Liquid. I get it off of Amazon, it comes with a mitt. It is the least expensive uh, tanning product I have ever used and I like it the most, which is I kind need of to try it. insane. So it straight up is a, it's like water. It's like brown water, it's poop water. And you rub it all over your body. Sometimes you do it Sounds twice great. in a row that night and you end up a bronze goddess. Wow. But I will say the thing that I love about Fake Bake is that you are dry almost immediately. So it- You're right. And I, cause I can't stand being sticky or feeling like I can't like let my arms down to my sides or touch anything or put clothes back on. I, when I was using lotions, I would literally like sit very awkwardly on a towel in my bedroom mm -hmm with the fan blowing on me to try and expedite the drying process. Yeah. Um, whereas okay. this, I buff it on, and then I could, I still try to avoid putting on clothes so I don't like smudge anything or end up you with put a wrinkle. But I'll put on, yeah, I'll put on like a very loose robe or a caftan and I can go about my business and I don't have to worry about it um, smearing onto anything or smearing off, which I really love. It does have a guide color. They recommend rinsing it off in the morning but you don't have to. Uh, I've done it both ways. Cause the guide color is not so scary that you look mm, insane. Got it. Um, and I have also applied a coat and then immediately gone back over with another coat. And I felt her after she did it and she was not sticky. No, not Whereas sticky. I was. And it's not drying, it's not oily. It just is really a, like a water-based product. I'm guessing that the first ingredient is water. Water, alcohol, figured. Dihy dihydroxyacetone. Dimethyl azorbicide. Acetone? Propyl 
It's but it's dihydroxyacetone. It's all the word. Sure. Sure. Sounds good for me. <laughs> but honestly, it's better than tanning. That's true. Um, no, I love it. I get it on Amazon. It's really cheap. Do you spray it on your skin or do you spray it on a mitt? I've done both. What do you normally do? Spray it into the mitt. Okay. This was recently in a The Cool List blog post, and this is all thanks to Mike. He uses Cremo Cremo shave cream. Cremo. Cremo. It's Cremo Cremo, baby. Cremo. It's fancy as fuck shaving cream. It is fancy as fuck, and I will tell you, I was using it the wrong way for a little bit. It's a cream, which I don't like a shave gel. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I want a shave cream. That's all there is to it, or a shave lotion. Uh, this is my new favorite. All of the scents that I've tried are wonderful. This lasts me longer than any like dispenser of foam. Foam, yeah, foam or gel. And you're supposed to really work this into the skin. Rub it in, rub it in, rub it in until it almost lathers, which I didn't know. I thought I was just rubbing on this cream and shaving, which worked fine then, but when you rub it in and you get it a little bit lathery, it works so much better. I'm so curious. It's great. I'm currently using the lavender one, which I don't think smells like lavender. This was mango coconut. Absolutely amazing, very hydrating, very moisturizing. I've been buying them at Walmart because it's like a dollar cheaper than Target. You can also find them online. But again, this lasted me a really long time. And Mike says it's the only shaving cream he wants to use for his face. Where are you going to Walmart? Oh, to my honey, honey, I love it. Oh my God. Okay, pardon <laughs> whatever happens to this bottle. Whatever sad, I will, it collects all the dust. I will say that is one of the, that's my only complaint about the Thai Macrit Lime Firming Oil, which is as you're applying the oil, you're getting it on your hands and then you're picking up the bottle again and then you're getting the oil on the outside of the bottle. Yeah. And then when it dries down, it collects every little bit of hair, like it's disgusting. It should be in a pump or in a squirt. Thing. Ooh, I think a pump would, I would prefer the pump. Let's tell them. Um, one of y'all's husband works at the body shop. Oh yeah. Can you just tell him to make this with a pump? So not even kidding, because of the way that I have exclaimed my love for this, my mom went and bought a bunch of them and gave them to all of us for in our Easter baskets. My sister started using it. She texted me really? the next day. She says she freaking loves it. Good. Um, I love it. I would absolutely repurchase it. We have discovered that it is cheapest, typically at Ulta. Mm -hmm. You can find it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, but if you want to buy it all the time and you don't want to have to search for it, Ulta has it way cheaper than you get at yeah. the body shop and they mm -hmm. often have a coupon or sales or whatever. I only found it in Marshalls the very first time I ever found it and it was just an experiment for me. Yeah, I've never seen it there since, yeah. unfortunately. I've seen other scents, but I've never seen the oh. Thai. I've seen the lavender. The Thai, macro. the Thai macro and the lavender. I really love that one too. We talked about these in a video. We were sent some. I have since gone out and repurchased them. You like them pussy wipes? I did like them for like after my period, during mm -hmm. my period. Going to get a wax. This is the Honeypot Company Sensitive Wipes for intimate parts of your body and face. I ain't putting this anywhere near my face. <laughs> it's good. See poop hole. Three piece. They're great. I really do. I really do like them. You can find them at Walmart, Target, and online. If you have been watching our time of the month since last summer, then you know that there is one product I require during the summer, mm -hmm. and that is Dove spray deodorant. Is it because it's the best ever deodorant I've ever used? No. no. No, I don't actually use it on my armpits. I use it between my lovely lady thighs, and that is because my legs, I don't have, it's not that I don't have a thigh gap, it's that I don't have any gap at all. Pretty much from my fucking tiptoes to my crotch, my legs are stuck together. So when I get hot and that's rubbing, I end up with a freaking like chub rub. Chub rub, awful rash, it's so painful, it is automatically a day ruiner. Mm -hmm. These were on some sort of super sale, so I literally bought five cans, and then I also got a $5 Target gift card. I remember that. For buying five cans. Oh no, I bought more cans instead. Um, and I bought it in a new coconut scent, which Danielle could literally smell my inner yeah. thighs the other day when I met up with her, and she liked it, um, which I appreciate. I always want Danielle to like how my inner thighs smell. <laughs> but um, I will say, I've had some other, I've recommended it to friends, and then when they try it, they're like, I can't do it, it like pills up on me. Really? If you spray it on and then just immediately start walking around, oh, yeah. yes, you will get that. But if you spray it on, sit for like 30 seconds and just let it sort of pout. Cause it, I mean, when you spray it, it's wet, mm -hmm. but if you let it dry, it's powder. Like it's a spray. It does that under your arms right, too. Right. It's the exact same thing. Up. 
So you just have to wait for it to become the powder finish mm -hmm. and then you're good to go. I agree. I've never had the peeling happen. Yeah, I had it happen this morning because oh. I was in a rush and I just, oh, yeah. My own fucking fault. Right. Well. This morning? No, I wasn't wearing a dress this morning. Yesterday morning. Oh, look at that. I know. Oh. What scent is that? It was pear, which I had never seen before. I thought all the pears. <laughs> I like it though. It it's is a good. little fr it's a little fruity for me. But I had one in there. Everything she said, sure, sure, sure. But I also use it under my pits sometimes. If I have to, I will. But I don't like if it's there and I grab it first. Yes, but I don't prefer it. Okay, my last product is the product that I didn't like, and this was sent to me by Influencer. This is the L'Oreal El Vive Color Vibrancy. Rapid Reviver Deep Conditioner for color treated hair and daily use. Well, first of all, I'll wash my hair daily. <laughs> no, not uh, close. I didn't, I don't have colored hair. I have bleached hair. So I'm not sure that this was appropriate for me, but I didn't notice anything any better than any other old conditioner that I've used. I in fact hated it so much for my hair that I use it as a shaving cream. Oh yeah, because conditioners are great shampoo. Yeah, and it was fine for that, but it just wasn't my favorite. It was uh, fine. Oh, it's very fragranced in not a good way. Well, what's funny to me? Uh, it just wasn't my favorite. I would have rather used like regular old Suave. 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 Oh, guys, that's all our trash. Mhm. Mm that's it. So, what are you using right now? What are you loving? What are you hating? Mm. Do you like our trash? Are we trashy? I don't think we're trashy. I think we're what you would call garbage poop. <laughs> yeah, Danielle, what are you wearing in your mouth? You gotta find it. This is one of my favorite lip products of all time and it's actually all thanks to Leanne Says on YouTube. I've been watching her for probably seven years and her favorite lip product of all time is, well, it's rubbed off, but it's Revlon Kissable Balm Stain in the shade Honey. And it's a Your Lips Look Better bomb and there are times when i put it on i'm like my lips look big like it looks like i've had filler they're discontinuing it which is really really the sad. whole line or just that color i think the whole line yikes i know they're all very clearanced at like walmart and rite aid and stuff so i bought an extra one last night because it's just so dang easy uh -huh. yeah and it's not sticky barf nobody likes the sticky and we had someone join us hey guys <laughs> you got a what do you think barkley's voice sounds like I think it either sounds like that, or I think it sounds like, hey, uh, I think it's that. Hi guys, uh, just join the video. <laughs> I don't know, I think it might be somewhere in between. But because he, I don't think he's that low. Hi guys, hi guys. Anyway, are you wearing already? I digress. <laughs> I am wearing, uh, so I have put three different pink lipsticks on today, but the one that I have most recently put on is the uh, Clinique Long Last Lipstick in the shade Watermelon the only watermelon that I like other, other than, than real watermelon. Don't give me some like watermelon flavored something. But yeah, no, I really, I rarely ever wear pinks this bright now. I don't know why I started going either from like a bright red to a nude, but nothing really in between. Mm -hmm. um, and this was just sort of the first thing my hand landed on in my drawer this morning. Let's go with the yellow. I wasn't sure if I was, yeah, we're just doing it. I like it. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it well. Okay, well that's it. Thanks as always for watching. Watch, watch our, our last, last video. Watch, watch our next video. video. Watch all, all the videos. videos. We have vlogs coming out. We have events happening. Yes. All of the things. Vlog posts may be happening. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't follow us on Facebook, follow us on Facebook. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. If you don't, follow us on Pinterest. Follow yeah. us on Twitter. If you haven't subscribed to us, our actual blog, do that. If you haven't rung the bell to get notifications when our new YouTube, Yotob, Yotob, Yotob videos post, do that too. I mean, Listen, we're not asking you to do that much. I think share the video. Ooh, yeah. Tell your friends to subscribe because, you know, oh, he's pawing at something. Cool. Write to your local senator. Oh, he's the he's going to the fuck out. Anyway. Just, like, tell, tell people about us. Because how else are we supposed to get out there? Right? Like, if you see something, say, say something. something. Tell like, everybody. <laughs> we just really like doing this and we want to do it more. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, think about it. If we have more subscribers and more followers and we have more money, that means we'll have more time to create more things. So it's really just a benefit for you. Exactly. Honestly, we had a, we did a presentation amongst other female business owners the other day. And our, our biggest barrier 
um, to this process are time and money. Barriers. Plural. We just want them to lick time, liquor in the mouth, and money. One, time and money. We spend at least 40 hours, I mean 40 plus hours every week, either commuting to or working our jobs. Um, and then we also have families and houses and things we need to take care of. You know, don't keep us all to yourself. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. Okay. We, we gotta that go. That was rambly and honestly kind of desperate to just beg for you to do stuff for us, but... You know, this is like our 90th video. Is what it? did you expect? Ooh, what are we gonna do for a hundo? Probably get naked. <laughs> we haven't talked about that yet. Maybe we should have a little brainstorming session about you that. You said that you wanted your thighs to smell good for me. Yeah, I don't even naked. You could smell them the other day through my skirt. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs>